today I'm here with these uh, baby born dolls that I just purchased off of Offer Up, um, and they came with their original outfits, which is good. She's missing the hat, but um, that's okay. Um, but that's it. That's all they came with, and I know they are a uh, drink and wet um, doll. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to make uh, baby bottles for them, and also how to make a uh, pacifier that fits their um mouth and it looks realistic so let's get started we're going to start with the pacifier first all right for the pacifier you're going to need some pacifiers some silicone scissors and a toothpick all right the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take this tip out and i want to uh, take it out about right there I'm going to reuse this tip here. I've seen a lot of videos where people just cut this off and um, this will work just fine, but my daughter wants it to look realistic and she doesn't like this. So I'm gonna show you how to make it more look more real. And then I'm gonna take it down all the way down to the bottom. Now that you have this, um, just test it out, make sure it's going to fit over it just like that. The next thing I want to do is I want to put a toothpick in here. And this is going to be for support. And then I'm going to cut it probably right about there. Just going to snap it here. Then I'm going to try it again, make sure it's not too long. And it's not too long, as you guys can see. And then we're going to start filling it with uh, silicone. Just like that, and then I'm going to set this to dry for about a day. All right, guys, while we wait for the pacifier to dry, I'm going to make the uh, baby bottle, and um, I'm going to use this craft squeeze bottle here. And the reason I'm using this one is because of the long tip fits perfectly into um, the baby born's mouth. And you're going to need some tattoos, and I got these at Walmart for 98 cents and their Easter um, tattoos. And optional, you're going to need scissors, school glue, paint, and a paintbrush. You will also need a damp cloth. Okay, so I picked out the um, tattoos that I wanna use on my bottle here, and I'm just going to, before I take the plastic off, I just wanna see where I wanna put it. All right, so I'm just going to take the plastic off, set it, um, I would say about right there. Then I'm going to take my damp cloth here and I'm just going to hold it there for 30 seconds. All right, I'm going to remove this and then I'm slowly going to um, see if it worked. It looks like it worked, so I'm going to go ahead and put these somewhere, and then I'll come back and i show you what I do next. Okay, so here it is. I put a couple more tattoos on there, and you guys can be done here if you like, but I'm going to do a couple extra things here. I'm going to actually wrap tape around them just to make it more durable, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that off camera just so I make sure I don't get any creases on here. 
Now that I put the tape on here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint this part because my daughter wants it actually to match um, the picture here. So I have uh, my paint here and it's sort of that color. So I'm just going to start painting it. Okay, here it is. Now I'm just going to let it dry. Okay, so here it is. I've already painted this. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer of um, school glue. You can use Mod Podge if you like. Okay. I'm using school glue just because I have it out. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is just to give it a little bit more of a, like a seal to make sure it seals because um, if I don't do that, it's just going to peel off really easy and I'll show you that I can peel this off really easy. As you can see, I just scratched it and it just peels off. So I'm going to go ahead and repaint this and then I'm going to um, put a layer of glue on it. All right, so I repainted it. Now I'm, I have my glue here and I'm just going to paint some on here. And I'm going to be very generous, generous with it. And I'll probably do a couple coats of it. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to do another coat. Okay, here it is. Here's the glue all dry, and I did two coats of glue here, and um, as you can see, I'm scratching it, and it will not come off. It did do a seal there, so that's ready to try on the baby born, and I wanted to bring out the pacifier that we did earlier, and here it is. This is what it looks like, and um, when I pull on it, it will not come off, which is good, so it's on there. I'm sure if I do it with a bunch of force, it will come off, but... It's ready now, we're ready to try these on the doll. Before I bring the doll out, I filled this up with water and um, I tried it out. And when I squeezed it, there's a leak on it. Let's see if, you could, if I can show it to you. I don't know if you can see it, it's leaking from up here. When I squeeze it, so that's an easy fix. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. And all I'm going to do is bring out some Teflon tape and I'm going to wrap it around. Let me get a napkin here and I'm going to wipe this. And then I'm going to take Teflon tape. Just like that and that should do it. And no leak. So here's the baby born. I brought her out and I'm going to go ahead and put the pacifier in there and it works perfectly and it looks realistic. And then here's the bottle and it fits her perfectly as well. I did want to show you some other bottles that I made. I actually went back to um my store here and I was able to find these bottles and I paid $1.49 and it came in a set of three and this one already has a pink um, tip on it so if you find those that's great you don't have to paint anything and I also wanted to show you that you guys can use stickers as well to decorate them I use stickers here um, I prefer the tattoos because they don't have this white border that you can see there and I did buy some baby shower bottles here and um, on this one I went ahead and made a hole on it because they don't come with the hole and I also used the tattoo there this one fits her but I would have to like sh shove it in there and I don't want to do that and here's another one a blue one and I also use stickers on that one so that's it thank you guys for watching